What's up, YouTube? Pokeprime here, Prime and Rage, to deliver you episode number 9 of our Pokemon Stadium 2 Let's Play here on the channel. In the last episode, we took on Price and the Mahogany Gym with their Ice Types, and boy, was there a lot of hacks in that final battle. Let me tell you, you gotta go check that out to understand, man. That was crazy. But today, we are going to be taking on Claire and the Blackthorn Gym, the probably the toughest thing. Like, I want you to know. I struggled as a child to beat this. I struggled multiple times to beat this and get onto the Elite Four. So this is probably going to be the one that's going to take us the most tries, honestly. In all in all seriousness, this is going to take us forever. So let's hop into this. Um, let's see what we can do. Um, dragon types. They are weak to dragon and ice. So right off the bat... I want to, um, how fast is a Dragonite? 85, if that is what she has. I don't know if she has a Dragonite or not. 94. So we should, in theory, outpace that. So I do want to bring Articuno as, like, my main Ice-type offensive threat. The thing is, like, I'm not going to bring a Dragon-type, because um, most of the Dragon-types in this game aren't that great. Like, he only has Dragon Rage, so, like, I'd have to bring Dragon Air, because it has Dragon Breath. Wait, Dragon Air is faster than Dragon Knight. What if she has a Dragon Air? That's a problem. Mmm, that's a problem. That's a really big problem. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Um, I think I just have to build an overall, like, diverse team and just kind of roll with it. I know it sounds like a cop-out, but I actually do want to bring Seedra again. And the reason I want to bring Seedra again is... You only have Twister, right? Yeah, Twister. Okay. The reason I want to bring Seedra again is because, um... It has a dragon type move and decently high special attack stat while also not being weak to dragon so that's kind of nice so plus it's a water type so it's nice solid typing just overall um oh this is the pro this this gym's gonna give me fucking headaches dude This gym is just a struggle bus, man. It's so hard to prep for this one because they can really realistically do or bring just about anything they want and it's perfectly fine. So, like, it's hard to just determine, like, what is the better, what is the best outcome to go with, you know? Like, essentially, we just have to bring things that probably could outspeed and do a lot of damage fast. Or take a lot of hits. Ugh, Hmm. This is so hard, dude. This is actually legitimately difficult. Um... I 
mean, realistically, like, dragon type-wise, there's Kingdra and there's Dragonair. So I need, um, that take, then the Dragonair line. Um, what else could they possibly bring? Maybe water types to help the ice weakness? But I can't think of what else. <sighs> I think I just want a solid ground type. sounds crispy. Let's bring him on Lee. Because him on Lee can just do big damage. Cadabra because Cadabra can do big damage and can take a special hit if need be. Um, I want to bring a steel type. I don't know why, I just want to bring a steel type. Special defense is so ass. And you're so slow. And your most powerful move is 75 hours. Ugh, never mind. At least you're faster and you have more spadef and you can take a hit better. Ugh, this sucks. This fucking gym sucks. It's so bad. I'm gonna go with Skarm. I'm gonna roll with it. We're gonna see what happens. <sighs> Come on, baby. Alright, so she. Oh, yeah, they don't have any dragon types here. Perfect. Honestly, she just has a shit ton of grass types plus. or. yeah, weak things. Um. I'm gonna lead Skarmory because Skarmory literally fists four out of six. I'm gonna bring Hitmonlee, and then I'm gonna bring um, Articuno. Articuno needs to practice hitting blizzards after all. The final gym. Awaiting the challenger are the members of Blackthorn Gym. The first battler is Gloria, a cool trainer. All right, we got Skarm out front. Two thirds chance that something that leads against us is going to be weak to us, and we get the one third chance that's not. I'm gonna fly to scout and see what happens and what they're gonna go for. Fire blast. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. It's a 3 co. You miss this fire blast? That'd be really dope. Ow! Homie, don't like that. No! No, boo boo. Stop that. Oh, that's really bad. That this thing has fire blast. Can you just continue to miss? Can you miss a fire blast? Like after I land here, can you miss this fire blast? That'd be really great. Oh, I got a crit! All right, 
I will take that crit to the bank. I will take that crit with no complaints. Venonat, okay. Venonat I can handle. So get out of speed and get the fly off. Sleep powder? Nope. Nice. Please miss. Miss the sleep powder. Miss the sleep powder. Miss the sleep powder. Miss the sleep powder. Huh. We got speed, so we burn a turn of sleep. Psychic, will that kill us? Will that knock us out? That doesn't do anything. That's probably its best move to hit us, so we're just gonna keep going for attacks because I don't think this thing can kill us with anything. Oh, well, it's okay, so if we don't wake up this turn, then we're dead. So we need to wake up this turn. Perfect. Don't miss the steel wing. Please don't miss the steel wing. Thank you. Alright, so there's still a uh, three quarters chance that her last Pokemon were super effective again. So let's hope that it is one of those three out of four chance. Perfect. Going up. It has sleep powder too. That's unso That's annoying. Whoop, that one Pokemon is still capable of going up, but the other one looks tired. We got a crit. I feel like that wasn't entirely necessary, but at the same time, it might have been. I don't know. But I doubt this thing had anything that could like actually like really damage me. Considering we're immune to one of its stabs, and the other one we four times resist, so... Who knows? But, uh... I'm down for that. That's a good solid first round here. Hopefully, the rest are not that... Hopefully the other trainer is not that scary either, so that we don't have to worry until we get to Claire. Claire is gonna be a problem. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, <laughs> Claire's just a threat. Ah! Uh, I hate this. Thoroughly tough in Pokémon. Oh, just a bunch of starters. Okay. He visited all the regions six times, but never evolved his starters. Alright, well... Huh. So I'm gonna bring Skarm for the grass types. Seedra for the fire types. And I guess Kadabra for the water types because we have Thunder Punch. We'll see how this works. The next opponent is cool trainer, Vince. He's certain to be a tough opponent. So there's a yeah. So this isn't such a bad start. This isn't a horrible start. We'll go for fly first and see what kind of damage we can get off. See what kind of move he wants to go for. Surf. Okay. So hopefully we can do close to half? Or about half? Because I feel like Thunder Punch should do enough to KO it from half. Oh, that's not half. Let, let you have to us. Oh, that's a problem. So I'm switching into Seedra. 
Because Seedra will actually resist that, so I can go for uh, Dragon Breaths then. Yikes, that was not fun. Thirty-one damage. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm going for the dragon breath. A para would have been great. I mean, we definitely beat this. Of course, he crit me again. What does he have? A fucking scope lens? What the fuck? Oh my god. Do? Fucking prick of a totodile. Crit my mons twice now. What the hell? If he crits me again, we're knocked out. Which is really bad. That's so ass, though. God damn. If he hadn't crit me, we'd have been in a perfectly fine, okay situation. Please be a fire type. Oh, it's of course it's not. One I'm gonna switch Pokemon back into Skarm. I feel like Skarm's safer right now. I'm saving Seedra just in case he does have a fire type in the back. And Skarm should be able to take literally any hit this thing goes for. Giga Drain. Yummy. We chew this. Did eight. I did eight. Let's go for this fly. Is he switching? Oh no. Okay. Okay, so what I get out of this is I'm gonna get damage off on the Cyndaquil. Okay, so I should win this. Yeah, I'm gonna get damage off on the Cyndaquil. It's gonna kill me. Oh, it's actually faster. Perfect, so I'm gonna get damage off this turn for free, and then maybe it's a speed tie? Maybe it's a speed tie. No, he's a speedy little fucker. That's gonna kill me. Crit again! I know it didn't matter, but come on, dude. What the hell? Why are you critting all my Pokemon? Will well, now we go into Seedra. We go for a Surf. Yeah, so we're gonna outspeed and kill him with a Surf. And now we can literally just go for a Dragon Breath on the Bulbasaur and kill it off, and then Kadabra just comes in and nukes it. So yeah, Kadabra should just be able to nuke this thing instantly. Goodbye. so nervous. My knees weak, arms are sweaty. Vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti. <sighs> oh god, it's Claire. I am Claire, the dragon user. You're challenging me? 
Oh, that team. Oh, no. Ooh. I don't like this team. Alright, so I'm going to lead with Cedra. Right? Because that feels right. Uh, I want to bring Graveler for that Ampharos, but I don't know, man. Oh, I don't know. This is tough. There's two water types right there, though. That's a problem. But Graveler can also do big damage to the Arcanine, the Rhydon, shit like that. I'm bringing my top row. which is worst case scenario. That's the only reason I wanted to bring, um... This thing right here is why I wanted to bring... Uh, I should have brought him on Lee. I should have brought him on Lee because I can't touch this thing. I'm gonna smoke screen it. Why did it switch? Why did it switch? All right, I'm not like mad about this. The smoke screen went up. Accuracy is down. I was also about to say like, what the fuck, this nuts squeeze me? All right, well I'm switching. Uh, definitely switching into Graveler. Um, so we see Lapras and Ampharos, and I almost want to guarantee the Dragonairs in the back. So it goes for Thunder Punch. The that no at all. So no matter what, we're gonna hit something with an Earthquake right now. We're gonna hit something with an Earthquake. He's switching, obviously. Something has to catch an Earthquake right now. It's probably gonna be that Lapras. Yep, Lapras is gonna take an Earthquake. Okay, that's 3 KO. Good to know. Uh, back into Seedra we go. Seedras are switching to this. Surf. Okay. We should take that pretty decently. Yeah, 44. Pokemon, which uh, I'm gonna go for um, Dragon Breath. All right, we're gonna outspeed. We're gonna hit it with a Dragon Breath. We got a Para. Okay, I will not complain. Of course, Ice Beam. We should take that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hit it with another Dragon Breath. Just gonna keep clicking Dragon Breath. Oh man, like I said before, like I have nothing that breaks this Lapras apart, which is really bad. He crits me. Oh, I needed the extra turn of damage at least. Oh, this is bad. Has to be Articuno, because I know Lapras will outspeed my Graveler immediately. Building up power for its next attack. 
I'm just gonna surf. What will it do? Surf should not two hit KO me. It three hit KOs me. That's even worse. Because I have to go for Razor Wind on this thing because Razor Wind's the only thing I have that can actually do fucking damage. That did nothing! I was not- I, I literally brought like... Oh. <laughs> I won't even live long enough to get off another Razor Wind, will I? I have to hope for a crit. I had to hope for a crit razor wind. I have to hope to live this turn and a crit razor wind. And that's the situation I'm in. He's gonna go for ice beam. That's gonna kill me though. Of course it gets crit. Oh, I needed the extra turn of damage from the dragon breath. Gravel yeah, I lose. I lose this definitely. I literally lose this because I didn't bring him on Lee. Yeah, I was gonna say, unless I'm somehow faster. Unless I'm somehow faster than this Lapras. I'm out of here, yep. Well, we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back. Alrighty, guys. We are hopping back into a battle with Claire, and we are literally bringing... Uh, Hitmonlee this time because we're not taking any chances with this bitch again. No, thank you. Not taking any chances. I'm gonna lead Hitmonlee. Er. Lead Seedra, bring Hitmonlee, and. Still bringing Graveler. I think this will be a better. Thing. Oh, she leads Kingdra, okay. So I can go straight for the super effective Dragon Breath on this thing. And we outspeed. Can we get the para? What's the opening gift? It's not a tube coast, that's perfectly fine. A para full para would be great. Crit would be nice too. He's just so fat. Alright, so Cedra loses out here, but. But. I mean, going to hit on Lee. And we'll be fine. We're fine. I just didn't want to swap into Hitmonlee, like, sooner, because... One slap should do 18 damage. Oh, he's faster than me! Okay, so we still eat that. We eat that. Let's slap! Oh, it doesn't do 10 damage. Or 18 damage. That's unfortunate. He's gonna hit me again, isn't he? Because every time I've used Mudslap, nobody misses their attacks on me. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't he actually hit his attack? It's a crazy thing to, like, not hit your attacks. It's a crazy thing to, like, actually, like, miss your attacks when your accuracy is lowered. At least we killed one of her Pokemon this time. Right on. All right. Alright, I'm not mad. 
High jump kick. Let's go. Okay. Earthquake. Okay. So our earthquake should be able to knock him out from this range. Should be. Maybe. And hopefully she has Ampharos in the back. And we can just straight up win. And by me saying that, I mean please fucking have Ampharos. Oh, you're faster than me. Um, no. Excuse me? Alright, we're gonna rebuild the team and we're gonna hop back in this. Alrighty, so we are back. Let me unmute the volume from this. So you can see the team's definitely different. Uh, we brought Sand Slash instead of Graveler, Pidgeot instead of, uh, and we also have Electabuzz. But I think, um. I think Seedra's too important to not bring. Uh, I think Sand Slash is too important to not bring. And I legitimately have to bring him on lead. I just have to. The challenger has finally made it to the final gym leader, Flare of Blackthorn Gym. Let's see if the challenger can snatch victory from her ferocious dragon Pokemon. Leads Lapras. I almost led him on lead. I'm gonna smoke screen. Face each other. And hope that it makes her actually miss moves. The smoke screen went up. Accuracy is down. She's gonna go for ice beam. What will the trainer do now? Miss. Perfect, 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 perfect. So, hopefully she misses on my switch, and I'm gonna be going into hit only here. Let's see how this goes. Come on. Miss your, miss your attack. I will admit, I have looked it up since uh, the last time I did this, and uh, she does have Psychic on this thing. Of course, you're not gonna miss on the turn that I make my switch. So I basically just have one turn to get off this high jump kick. Oh yeah, that's that's big boy damage. Can you miss this psychic? Can you miss this psychic because of the We live it! Oh my god, we lived it. Okay, crazy. We get rid of this lap Lapras, we're in a much better position. Do not miss. Perfect. Because then we can hit whatever else she has with this high jump kick as well. And just get big, big, big damage off. This is literally the reason we brought him on me. Alright, what do we got? Kingdra. Okay, so I found out that this has to be at least a speed tie because both Seedra and Hitmonlee are the same speeds, but last time Kingdra outsped us. So I'm gonna high jump kick here. He's gonna switch? Okay. I ain't mad about it. Arcanine's about to take a high jump kick to the face. And you don't have Intimidate, so this is gonna hurt you. That's big hit. That's big damage. That's big boy damage. Alright, you're faster, though. You have extreme speed, too, anyway. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you have extreme speed, too, so... That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna be able to knock out... We're gonna, we're gonna lose our hit on Lee, but that's fine. That is perfectly fine, because we're gonna go into Sand Slash. 
instead. We're going into Sand Slash because something has to take an Earthquake. If you stay in, you're going to flamethrower me and you're going to have to take an Earthquake. That did over half? What the hell? Okay, so Arcanine is going to drop. So we just have Kingdra to worry about. And Kingdra's two moves to hit us super effectively are moves that can miss. So realistically, I can... I'm going to risk this. And go for the Earthquake. He's just going to go straight for the Dragon Breath to kill us. Will this kill? He gets the para. Please don't get fully paired. Yes. That damage is so crucial. That damage is crucial to being able to beat this thing. That is absolutely crucial. Please go for something else just to be stupid and miss. Okay, you're not gonna. That's fine. That was crucial damage. That is crucial damage on this Kingdra. Come on, baby. Cedra, I need you to beat this thing with your dragon breaths. Cedra, prove you're the superior. You did not you need evolution. Prove you're better. A para would be amazing. Cedra's faster. We got the para! Yes! Do not get the para on us. Wow, that did a lot more than last time. It is a speed tie. Perfect. I just need to get off one more. I just need to get off one more turn. Yeah, speed. Yes! 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 We did it! Sand Slash was the key! Yes! Yes! Fuck yeah! Oh, we did it! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Get this fucking cunt out of here. Out of my face. Out of my face, bitch. Shit, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh man. You won through the ranks to reach me. I'm impressed. We, the Elite Four, will face you from here. Oh. All right, guys. We beat Claire finally. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Elite Four. So, uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, till then, though, guys, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm Poke Primer signing off. Peace.